All right, I keep expecting myself to do this very video right here. Then I keep procrastinating. It's one thing to speculate actually making a video. It's another thing to actually make the video. But this goes out to a Cartier ad. Cardi, Cartier, 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 however you pronounce that, but this right here is the uh, famous, or should I say infamous, infamous on fan collectors, some of us fan collectors that you can p pick up at Walmart for the conspicuous price of maybe $20 here in 2024. Bought this fan back in about 2013. But what does it matter? This is just the... Uh, same old a piece of shit, 3733, frozen in time. At the time when I uh, purchased, it, purchased, I thought, well, maybe I'll just own this for my collection. I thought more along the lines of, how would this fan compare to a Lasko box fan made uh, 20 years down the road? Okay, uh, 2013, 20 years from that would be uh, 2023. 2033, not 2023. 2033. So in 2023, one of these box fans is going to look identical to what's made today, what's made in 2013 and before. I've just uh, come to the conclusion, I mean, this fan is frozen in time. They can't really get any cheaper with these. Let's... <sighs> Look at these wimpy ass blades, cone shaped blades. It's like the airflow is only uh, <clears throat> efficient, only about to right there. Because these blades don't have much of an end to them, the way they narrow off. Not, re not really too much uh, to say about this fan, except for it's the same old uh, mediocre, you know, fan frozen in time. And uh, this fan's rival tonight is going to be this uh, retro uh, Holmes fan. Actually, it's a uh, Holmes Heritage fan. This uh, fan, it's been discontinued. Bought this fan in 2016 at Target like eight and a half years ago. However, you can buy fans just like this one today. This is kind of in conjunction somewhat with my Hunter pedestal fan with the triangular blades. This one has four knife-shaped knife blades. And in my opinion, uh, the Holmes fan blows out just a little bit more air than the Hunter. So, uh, chose this Holmes to be the, 
our pinnacle As I may have mentioned, you can actually buy fans just like this today. X as of 2024 this year. You see what Hunter does is it will alternate through the years between the triangular blades and the knife blades. And this year they've gone back to their uh, knife blade four knife bladed design. I think uh, this Hunter is a very cool fan. However, I'm convinced that this blade style actually puts out more air. I may compare these two in a different video, but this is going to be the pinnacle tonight. I'll go ahead and... Okay, uh, this is low... I'm going to say this very loud and clear. For those of you that say that these retro fans, new vintage fans, what have you, are, are uh, junk, like, you know, uh, the plastic bladed fans, I disagree with you. Can't put enough of emphasis on that. For those of you that say these fans are garbage, I highly disagree. I've used these uh, new vintage fans for years, and I've gotten nothing but goodness out of them. Okay, this is medium. And the ultimate. I think this fan puts out uh, a very decent breeze. I'm currently using this one in my bedroom. I brought it out to my living room for this video, but oftentimes. I'll use this fan to cool, initially cool off while I'm in bed. Then I'll shut it back off because this is just a little bit too much airflow at times. Have a smaller table fan in my bedroom that I use also, but let's show it on isolation. Back to medium. Puts out a decent breeze on all three speeds in my book. And this and this fan is built like a rhinoceros, very stout. Nice, strong grill. I've had the fan apart for cleaning. Blades are nice and sturdy. Nice, tough metal housing, all metal, except for the knob and the oscillator switch. And this uh, sleeve, but other and that, but other than that, it's an all metal fan. I've been very pleased with this, like I have all my other retro fans. Now let's do an airflow test. By the way, this is my living room, and showing you uh, my living room. So you can picture the testing, and there's my beloved Bassett resting the night away. I decided before I proceed with, the, you know, uh, the demonstration, I think 
this fan has much more handsome blades than the piece of shit 3733. A lot more aerodynamically correct as well. Some of you say, well, these fans don't have a lot of pitch, but let me depict. See where my finger is? You see where there's a bend in the blade? In a sense, I mean, this good, good bend throughout the whole blade kind of compensates for the fan not, quote unquote, what blade having enough pitch. I am uh, convinced that the Holmes metal fan puts out some more air than the 3733. So uh, let's uh, use the uh, paper for demonstration. I'm going to start off, let's start off on low. I'm here at the other end of my living room. Definitely doesn't put out the thrust of my, you know, antique Kmart fan. That's for sure. Now for the pinnacle fan. Okay, uh, medium. Pretty strong breeze in my opinion. Let's move over to the other end of the living room. Let's uh, try both fans at the same time.
Well, the 3733 stopped spinning, but the homes continues. Yep. In my opinion, this is a 16 inch fan. This is allegedly a 20 inch. And I think it might be safe to say that the Holmes is the winner. It is definitely the winner of being structurally consent, uh, sounded, structurally sounded, well built, and it even kicks ass somewhat and thrust against the 3733 as well. A lot of you uh, vintage fan collectors like box fans. I would use me a box fan if they still made good box fans, but in my opinion, they do not make good box fans anymore. The only advantage this fan has compared to uh, the pedestal is you can set this one directly in the window. But to be honest with you, I do not feel the need for a fan in my window. It being that oftentimes the temperature in my house is actually lower than what's outside. So that would defeat the purpose. Let me show you another thing. You're allegedly supposed to add the plastic feet to these fans, but turn this fan on high. It doesn't even blow it, attempt to blow itself over. And by the way, uh, <clears throat> this uh, center ingot right here is, I mean, supposedly to, you know, for if you set the fan in the window, it's supposed to shield the rainwater from the motor. They do still make a good, decent floor fans and pedestal fans just like this. But no good box fans being made today, so I take what I can get right there.